Hilo's Days or National Hilo's. They may refer to a number of commemorations of national heroes in different countries. It is often held on the birthday of national hero or heroine, or the anniversary of their great deeds that made them heroes. Welcome to NCPN TV, and thanks for watching. Today, we are going to see categories and the historical background of Guanan's heroes. Remember to subscribe on NC Print TV by clicking on the red button and turning the notification button to get more updates. Every year on February 1st, Guanan celebrate the National Heroes Day. It is the day on which we reflect on acts by national heroes and heroines and the value for which they are remembered. Heroes are classified into three categories Emerge, Imena, and Ingenzi. Major General Fred Gisar Guidemo, Emerge, Michael Gagasana. Amen. Agatuin Giman. Amen. Fresini Tedeka. Amen. Imans are supreme heroes who demonstrated outstanding achievements occasioned by supreme sacrifice, outstanding protest and example. This category, which honor has the right, Major General Fred Kisarguidem and the unknown soldier can only be awarded afterwards. He lost in the Imena category are repeated for the extraordinary for the country marked by sacrifice, higher approaches and example. The Ingenzi category compromises heroes who are still alive. The unknown soldier emerges. The unknown soldier represents all the fiery soldiers, the liberation struggle. The tomb of the unknown soldier is at National Heroes Tomb in Lemera, next to our national stadium. The tomb is a way of commemorating the soldiers whose remains could not be identified after the liberation war. Let us see historical background of each hero by starting on Major General Fred Gisa Lukitim, who is in the category of immersed. Major General Fred Gisar Guijema was born on April 10, 1957, in Mukirenzi village, Kamoni district, former Gitaram, in the South Province. Major General Fred Gisar Guijema died on October 2, 1919, on the second day of the Guarana Patriotic Army Liberation Or. His parents were Anastasi Kimonio and Gatarina Mukandirima, Jiang Guijema and his family fled to Uganda and settled in the Shungirezi refugee camp in the 1960s following the 1959 pogroms. On June 20, 1987, he married Janet Rujeni and they were blessed with two children, Junior Gisa and Teta Gisa. In 1974, he went to Tanzania and joined the Front for National Salvation from NASA, a labor group, group led by William Seven. Later, in 1976, he traveled to Mozambique and joined the Freerimo Liberals 
will fight for the Mozambican liberation against the Portuguese colonial power. In the 1981, 27 soldiers, including Guillema and his childhood friend and current President Paul Kagame, and seven started a liberation struggle against the regime of Ugandan President Milton Obote. Guijema helped the National Resistance Army in the LRA capture state power in 1986 and was appointed the Ugandan Deputy Minister of Defense. He was regularly at the front line in Afrin Uganda during the government offensive against remnants of the West the region. He attended several positions in the Ugandan army, including Jupit Army commander and the overall operations commander. But despite holding all the above posts, he always had one hand at heart. Kujema is remembered for being among those who greatly inspired the Rwandan refugees to liberate their country. And on October 1st, 1990, his, his spear headed Rwandan's liberation struggle. He was shot at the front line on the second day of the attack. Umam Umutara Three, Rudahigwa Charis Roger. He is in the category of Imena. He was the son of the King Yuhifo Singa, Nyiramavogo Kangazi. Then he became king on November 16, 1931, after the abdication of his father November 13, 1931. During his rule, King Rudahi advocated for the welfare of Rwandans, independence, democracy, and fought against injustice through the king's court. He married Nyiramakomari on October 15, 1933, but separated in 1940. He then married Rosary Chanda on January 18, 1942. He worked hard to educate ones through the establishment of Nutara Front and requested Jesuits to establish courage in Jitaram. But in his the courage was put into Nibujumbura, Blund. Daigo later set up the Islamic courage, Nyamirambo, a Chigari Konabation, and another school in Kanyanza and offered scholarship to many Rwandans to study in Europe. Under his reign, he eliminated all forms of slavery and advocated for unity and incarceration among Rwandans. King Mutara Sri Rudahigwa died under mysterious circumstances on July 25, 25, 1959, in what many consider to have been an assassination. Number three, his name is called Michael Kwagasana. He is in the category of Imena. Michael Kwagasana was born in 1927 in the Tisi Nyamagana of Ruhango district, the southern province. He attended the group school as trader, attaining a diploma in administration. Married Susan Nyanzai in 1957 and two were blessed with four children, but he never got a chance to see his rest born because he died when his wife was three months pregnant. Wagasan attained several descriptive positions due to his thinking. He later became secretary of King Mutara Sri Rudahigu from 19 from 19 uh, 
54. He's unavailing advocacy for unity and independence and denouncing ethics differences. He was killed during the regime of Gregor Kaivat for declining to embrace ethnic segregation. Let's see number four. Stem is correct, I got willing a man. She is in the category of women. I got willing a man was born in June 23, 1953. Negitori, Sagara district of the southern province. She was the daughter of a juvenile in Masherikande, Saverina Niranivangu. She got married to Ignace Walahira in 1976 and was blessed with five children. Urinji Mana became the first woman to hold the position of the Prime Minister in Rwanda's history from July 17, 1993 to April 1994. Prior to that, she served as the Minister of education, we are advocated for equal rights among students. During her time in office, she advocated for the rights of women and spearheaded the fight against the divisionism. She was assassinated on April 7, 1994, at the genocide machinery. Issue number five: Scored first in in the category of Imena. Born in 1934, Fresh Nietzsche was the daughter of Simon Sikerba and Jarina Nyiramabuka. She was killed on April 21, 1994, during the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. Nita is remembered for refusing to part ways with the people who found refuge at St. St. Pierre Nikisen, currently Rwavo district. She was just a cross worker when her brother skated her to separate from the Tutsis since he, the military was aware of her activities, but she was declined when the Intelham militias came to her house. She already had over 32 refugees in her house. The Delam informed her that she would be spared, but her charges would be would have to be killed, but opted to die alongside them. Let's see number six. Nyan's secondary school students. They are the category of Imen. The senior five and the senior six students of Nyan Secondary School on March 18, 1997, attacked by remnants of the genocidal machinery. During Sanjay's days, who forced them to separate themselves from the X lines. They refused and attackers killed six of them, including four girls. Those that were killed are Sylvester Wisman, Chantal Mzomahol, Beatrice Mkamaraga, Selafin Mkautwaza, Helene Benimana, and Vares Neme. The Nyanj Hilos are among millions of victims of the decades of bad leadership that adapted to erasure characteristic values that were historically built around our criminal identity since the days of our fathers. Understandably, events that commemorate these foreign students and all other celebrated national heroes evoke a bit of memories. February 1st is also a reminder that there are some men, women, children who lay down their lives for this nation and whose love for this country should inspire us or to work hard to advance the same values they strive for. 
This is an end for today's session. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share to support the channel to grow. God bless you and I love you.